who is a HIV carrier? You hear people say, certain individual, Dr. Gomba is a HIV carrier. He infects people with HIV, but the HIV doesn't seem to do anything to them. That is what you term as a HIV carrier. You term HIV as HIV carrier, as someone who has HIV, he spreads the HIV, but the HIV does not affect them. All right, let's take the facts correct, right? Because there's a lot of people here on TikTok and other social media platforms misleading my clients who are my patients. First of all, there are two terms when it comes to HIV. HIV negative and HIV positive. You can never be in between. You are either HIV negative, you don't have the HIV virus. Or you are HIV positive, you have the HIV virus. You can never be in between. So you people think that a HIV carrier carries the HIV. You know, I don't understand. Because if you carry, if you are a carrier, you carry something. If you are HIV carrier, you carry the virus. Where do you carry the virus? You carry the virus inside your CD4 cell. So you are HIV positive. You are not, you are not a car. You are HIV carrier. You are HIV positive. What your people are trying to mean when you say HIV carrier, you are looking for this term called long-term non-progressors. It's called LT and P's. Long-term non-progressors. That's what you people call HIV carry. Because long-term non-progressors, these, these are people who have been infected by the HIV virus. They do not show the signs. The HIV does not affect them. They have suppressed the HIV virus into their system. Excuse me. They have suppressed the HIV in their system. But they can still transmit the HIV virus. Actually, here there are two. I think there are three scenarios that I should explain. Wrong term and progressors. Actually, this is what you, you, you think is HIV can. Because a long term, long term and progressors, these are people who have HIV virus. They do not, they, are, they have not been introduced to any antiretroviral therapy. They are not on any ARVs. They have the HIV, but they, they, the HIV doesn't seem to be attacking them. Those are called long-term non-progressive. People who can have HIV for 7 to 12 years without the HIV causing harm to them. Right? That's what you are trying to term as a HIV carrier. But they can still transmit the HIV virus, okay? In this way, you can be a long-term non-progressor. You have, you have, your immune system has suppressed the HIV virus to a point you are undetectable and transmissible. And I want to explain the terms. Undetectable and transmissible. When you do the viral load, when we say viral load, we're saying the amount, let's say in simple words, the amount of virus in your body. That's the viral load. The amount of virus in your system. You have suppressed it to a point that it is undetectable through the viral load and it is untransmissible. All right? But when you do the routine HIV test, you are positive. You could be undetectable for HIV virus, but when we do the HIV determined test, you are positive. So don't be lied out here that you're going to take certain medication that when you test for the HIV, it turns out negative. But you, they are going, they're still going to spread it. No, if we do the HIV viral load test, the viral load is low. So you're not going to transmit because you have been religiously taking your ARVs or you are an LTNP. Your immune system has been able to suppress the HIV virus to a point it is undetectable and transmissible. So erase the notion that there is a HIV carrier. A HIV carrier is a HIV positive patient. Do not be lied out here that a certain someone is a HIV carrier. They, they can test, they test negative for HIV but can spread. What are you really saying? They test negative for the HIV virus but they can spread. If you, can, if you test negative for HIV virus, it means you are HIV negative. But you cannot test HIV negative, but you still spread. 
that you can test HIV viral load undetectable and still not transmit. So there's nothing like HIV carrier. You're either positive or HIV negative. And the only medication that can reduce your viral load, your HIV viral load to undetectable levels is only the ARVs. These are the stories of you take certain medication, you're going to test. Do you know what we test? Do you know what we test when we're doing the routine HIV test? There's something called antibodies. Okay, so how do we form HIV antibodies? This is an antigen. This is a this is an antigen, and this is an antibody. Antibodies and antigen are specific. You see, see an antigen, an antigen looks like this is a HIV, HIV virus. We call them antigens. So antibodies are formed such that they form lock and key. They form lock. So if this was the antigen, the the, the if this is the antigen the antibody will be looking like this. So how is an antibody produced? When a virus attacks your system, how does your system know that there's a, a virus in your system? Your system has a mechanism of identifying that there is through macrophages, it was a white blood cells because white blood cells fight infections. Your body is able to identify that there's a virus that has come into your body by producing antibodies through the whole... It identifies through macrophages and then your body produces antibodies, all right? So these antibodies, that's what we test in the routine HIV test kit. You see those test kits, they are conjugated with antigen, all right? Commercially prepared, such that when they meet, you see, I have said they are specific, when they lock, and then you use the chromatography biology, that's how you know that this is HIV positive because there is a reaction. A reaction between the antigen and the antibody. And how do you see that? You add color to that. It's called chromogen. You add color to that. So, so that, that, that that's how you are able to see there's a reaction. Because your eyes cannot see a, a virus and an antibody. But when there is a, re a reaction and, you, and we conjugate color in it, then you're able to see a reaction. Right? So antibodies live into your system because of two things. They fight infection and then they put memory cells. There's something called B memory cells. You, have you ever asked yourself, there are some people who got, let's say, smallpox, and then when it comes next time, they don't take medication because your body produced antibodies. Antibodies, because your body had memory, so your body, when they saw the smallpox, it just produced other antibodies to come and fight the smallpox. Okay, so that antibody is what we are checking. We're not, we are not even checking the, 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 the antigen, we check the antibody. So when you're HIV positive, you produce antibodies against, antibodies against the HIV virus. So that antibody is what we check. And those antibodies don't go, don't get out of your body. They remain with you as long as you're HIV positive. Okay, because everybody, every day your body is trying to fight this infection. Every day, every day. And how does it fight it? By producing antibodies. And by doing so, they produce memory cells. So don't be right here that you're going to take certain medication and then when you come testing, your HIV will be negative. That mentality, get it off your mind. And also HIV carrier. HIV carrier is a positive, a HIV positive patient. Okay? Yes. Every time, get tested, know your status, don't be lied, be sharp, be vigilant. A HIV carrier is a HIV positive patient. There is nothing like a, who this, that, that someone is a HIV carrier. You can only be long-term than progressors. You have the HIV virus into your system, but your body is causing, suppressing the virus, but you can still spread the HIV virus. Don't be lied. Be woke. No better.